as the wheels of the coach rotate, they spin the alternator pulley through a V-belt drive to generate electric science behind this but if you want a deep dive into the physics <laughs> have you ever wondered how a train coach powers its lights and fans even when pulled by a powerful locomotive many older coaches actually have their own power plant hidden underneath Today, I will share a visualization of how these systems work in both AC and non-AC coaches. When you look at the undercarriage of these coaches, the first thing you'll notice is the difference in the size and design of the alternators. Because an air-conditioned coach has a much higher power demand than a non-AC coach, the equipment must be scaled up significantly. On a standard non-AC coach, the power requirements are relatively low, just enough for lights, fans and mobile charging points. It uses a 4.5 kilowatt alternator with an output of 37.5 amps. You can clearly see it is driven by V-belts connected between the axle pulley and the alternator pulley. As the train moves, the spinning axle turns the belts, which in turn spins the alternator to generate electricity. The AC coach is a different beast entirely. To power the RMPU, Roof Mounted Package Unit, Air Conditioning System, the coach needs a massive amount of energy. These alternators are much larger and heavier. A typical SG, self-generating AC coach, is equipped with 225 kilowatt alternators to handle the heavy load. Unlike the simpler DC output of the smaller units, these produce 97 volts, three-phase AC electricity which is then processed by a Rectifier Regulator Unit, RRU. As the wheels of the coach rotate, they spin the alternator pulley through a V-belt drive to generate electricity. Most of us know the basic science behind this, but if you want a deep dive into the physics, let me know in the comments. Once generated, the electricity is processed by a rectifier regulator unit, RRU, which converts it and sends it to the battery bank. If you look under the coach, you will see the battery boxes. Inside these boxes is a series of batteries that store energy to keep the lights and fans running even when the train comes to a halt. If you want to learn more about this video, share your best comment. Thank you. Wishing you a very happy new year 2026.